If someone said they would pay you $10 to chop half an onion, would you do it? Because that's the hardest part about making marinara sauce at home. Pre-made pasta sauce is one of the most foul things in a modern mega mart, but there's finally one good option. The bar has been so low for so long that Rayo's marinara ranks number one in virtually any taste test. The catch? It costs like 10 bucks for a quart of the stuff. Let me show you how to make the world's easiest marinara and then you can tell me if you think it's worth the savings. Put a quarter cup of olive oil in a frying pan over medium heat. Add three minced garlic cloves, a half of a finely minced yellow onion, a teaspoon of kosher salt, and several big cranks of coarse black pepper. If you wanted to add an optional teaspoon of dried oregano or generic dried Italian seasoning, you could add that now too. Stir it around for five or so minutes until the onions turn translucent. Those diced onions will sweat out enough water to prevent the minced garlic from burning. By the way, I know that at least some of you are thinking, okay, this recipe requires that I dice an onion. If it calls for knife work, I'm out. If you're not confident in your ability to get a fine dice on an onion with a knife, you can use a cheese grater, a food processor, a mandolin, or a chopper. Just get it broken down into about a cup of tiny pieces and cook it in the oil. Within minutes, you will be experiencing the first homemade sauce externality of delight, filling your home with the scent of fresh alliums cooking in olive oil. Many have tried to harness this aroma in candle form, and you're getting it for effectively free. That's chef math. Now, dial the heat down to low and empty a standard 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes into the pot. You could use whole tomatoes and crush them by hand, but then you'd have to pick out any hard stems that might be in there and all the squirting juice can make a mess. If my goal today is to get you to stop buying jarred sauce, ease is of the utmost importance and thus pre-crushed is the way to go. You don't want the heat too high or else bubbles will make big violent splatters. Just let it ride on low for about 15 minutes and stir it around every once in a while. Here comes the maddening part of any recipe where I tell you to salt it to taste. I don't know how salty your canned tomatoes are. I don't know how much water has evaporated out of your sauce. This is a subjective variable. Take a little spoonful, give it a cooling blow and taste it. At this point, it'll probably be bland. Beginner cooks, take note of how that feels to have a big pot of deeply flavorful ingredients and still sense this aching, wanton need for something. That something is salt. Add another teaspoon, stir it around, let it dissolve and disperse throughout the sauce for a minute and then taste it again. After you feel like it tastes well seasoned, add a tablespoon of fresh basil that's been finely julienned or minced. Cut the heat, stir everything around and you're done. Mama fucking me, look at this sauce. It's still bright red. It hasn't reduced all day like a Sunday gravy, so it still tastes fresh and tangy. It's got that reflective sheen on it from having lots of olive oil, which obviously tastes good, but also clings to pasta more effectively. Anyone who's ever washed a pot full of Rayos has seen how much it glimmers in the soapy water. They use a lot of olive oil. In the end, this has been a lesson on how to make marinara at home with very few ingredients in a matter of minutes. Don't get me wrong, this sauce is perfectly cromulent, and yet it's like the worst possible marinara you can make at home. I say this just so that you understand that it's on equal footing with the best marinara from the supermarket. This is as good as you can buy, and it's equal to this, which is as basic as you can make. If you are in the mood to improve even further, do any one or many of the following. One, swap all the onions for an equal amount of shallots, the onion's fancier and more refined cousin. Two, swap half the olive oil for animal fat, like that which renders out of cooked salt pork or bacon. Three, when you're frying the onions and garlic, add a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes for some Scovilles. Four, instead of everyday crushed tomatoes, find a can from the prized San Marzano varietal. Five, whenever you finish a wedge of Parmesan, keep that leftover rind in the freezer. Plop this hunk in the sauce while it simmers and it will contribute salt and super umami glutamates. Six, if you grow your own basil, chop two or three big stems and stir those into the sauce at the end. After they've given off their flavor, you can fish them out and toss them so that they contribute basil flavor while leaving the sauce smooth. So with this information, you've got an opportunity to best case, make a world-class red sauce and worst case, replicate the $10 jar with a value proposition that exponentially increases with a double or triple sized batch. I won't get into home canning in this video, which is a whole other bag of worms, but I will say that the sauce does freeze well. Defrost a portion whenever you want pizza, pasta, eggplant parm, or just a dip for air fryer mozzarella sticks. With the interest peaked of both the lazy and the audacious, I expect you all to make it the sauce. Capiche? 
I wanted to run a big, exciting ad for Barkley at the end of this video because for the first time all year, nothing was sold out. Every SKU was in stock. And then the day before shooting this, we sold out of bowls in this color. Anyway, it is officially the holiday season. So I added a couple things that are a little cheaper and a bit more gift friendly than ceramic dinnerware. This little DIY clay kit lets you learn basic pottery at home. And it even comes with all of the tools that you need. I'm especially proud of these little chambray dinner napkins, the way that the differently colored colored threads interact with each other is sensational. I've only done a site-wide discount once, and here comes round two. If you check out with the coupon code MARINERA, you will get 10% off your whole order. There will be no Black Friday or Cyber Monday at Barclay, but this discount is gonna stay up for the rest of the year, so you can check it out and see if you can find a Christmas gift for anyone on your list. The site to peep is dinnerwithbarclay.com. There's a link in the description if you don't wanna type it out.